outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky! And I am Jake, and today we'll meet a Gila monster and a desert rat. Ooh. Two animals from the desert. the desert. Right. You know, there's very little water and not much food in the desert. The desert. And it's almost always hot and dry in the desert. The desert. Yeah. That sounds awful. How can any animals live there? Well, Stinky, for some animals, the desert is home. Uh, we've got to help them, Jake. What do you mean? Well, I mean we've got to give them the necessities of life. Food, water, air conditioning. <laughs> Stinky, they don't need that. They have ways to survive. No, they need us, Jake. Trust me. But, Stinky, we... <laughs> Trust me. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Stinky? And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, lizards that lose their tail. Oh, those poor lizards. Not at all, Armstrong. Mm -hmm. When attacked by snakes or other animals, some lizards, like this night lizard, can drop off its tail. The snake gets to eat the tail, and the lizard gets away to grow a new tail. And face another day. Hmm, tail-dropping lizards. Yeah, another animal whose tail would make you say, yeah. That's amazing! Hey, hey, Jake, look, see, what do you think? Food, water, air conditioning? Why, with all this, the Gila monster and desert rat will never want to go back to the desert. Why don't we find out how they feel about the desert? Well, let's bring them on! And now, direct from its happy home in the desert of the southwestern United States, States. here is Gabby, the Gila Ooh. monster. Oh boy, it's cold in here. Oh, can't you make it a little bit hotter? Huh? I believe I'm getting what some might call a shiver. Well, welcome, Gabby. Yeah, hiya, Gabby. Hey, we're all ready for you. We got food, water, and a nice cool fan. Oh, well, thank you so much, Stinky, but could you turn off that fan? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure, uh, but why? Well, uh, we cold-blooded lizards need the heat. That's why the desert is just perfect for us. Yeah, you, you see, deserts and Gila monsters are made for each other. Lizards like us need the sun to warm up. So, all that heat suits us just fine. Yeah, but it's just cactus and sand. What do you do all day? Oh, we look for food, of course, and try to avoid bumping into cactuses. Now, Gila monsters are poisonous, right? Poisonous? Oh, oh, relax, Stinky. Yes, Jake, Gila monsters have venom that we keep in a sack down there in our lower jaw. Of course, we don't use it unless we're attacked. Are most lizards poisonous? No, only Gila monsters and our cousins from Mexico, the beaded lizard, have a poisonous bite. Uh... Whoa! You've got really sharp claws, too. You use them for digging, right? That's right, Jake. Gila monsters do a lot of digging, because that's where we live, in holes in the ground called burrows. Oh, I was born in the burrow. <laughs> well, that's where our baby Gila monsters are born, too. Now, do any animals attack Gila monsters? Oh, sure. Even though we're poisonous, we have to watch out for most coyotes and large birds. But our pink and black color is a warning to stay away. Well, tell us, Gabby, what do Gila monsters eat? Yeah, there's nothing in the desert but sand. <laughs> well... Well, we could eat sandwiches. <laughs> joke or what? Oh, no, seriously. Uh, there's food in the desert if you know where to look. And we eat the usual. You know, smaller animals, bird, and reptile eggs, that sort of thing. And if we can't find any food, well, there's always our tail. You eat your tail? No, Stinky. Gila monsters store extra fat in our tail. Oh. So if we have to go without food, we can live on that fat. Oh. Now, yeah. how exactly do you find food? Oh, well, Jake, uh, we taste the air with our tongue, the way you sniff the air with your nose. So that Gila monster there should be able to tell that he's walking right by that desert rat. Well, what desert rat? The one right next to him. Oh, oh that desert rat, well, yes, it doesn't always work perfectly. Uh, perhaps the Gila monster's having a bad tongue day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what that's like, yeah. Mmm, <gasps> I believe I taste bird eggs in the air. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, my tongue doesn't smell anything. <laughs> you need a reptile kind of tongue, Stinky. And once you taste the air, how do you get to the eggs? Oh, well, that's the tough part. Uh, first, we use our claws to climb up the tree. But when you finally get out to the nest, how do you get the egg? Oh, well, we just very, very gently pick up the egg in our mouth, like so. 
and then carefully go back down the tree. Yep, I've never cracked a shell yet. Oh, so I guess you really do like the desert, huh, Gabby? We Gila monsters couldn't and wouldn't live anyplace else. Why would we want to? Uh, well, does, does that mean that you're not going to want any of this food, water, or cool air? Oh, thanks anyway, Stinky, but I'd rather go looking for some food of my own. Got me a hankering for some eggs. Yeah. Bye. So long, Gabby. Thank you for coming. Yeah, bye, Gabby. Now, see there, Stinky. The Gila monster has everything it needs in the desert. Yeah, but I'll bet the desert rat will jump at this feast. Well, we'll see. But first, it's time to see what the Roadrunners are having for lunch on Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. Mama's beak is empty. But we're still oh, hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I'll just go get some more. Be good while I'm gone. Now, what was I doing? Um, oh, right, food. Uh, here I am, flapping my wings. Oh, look, look, food. Are you one of my chicks? Oh, no, of course you're not. <laughs> what was that about? Somebody feed me. So what do we do while we wait for someone to feed us? Now you think somebody is going to feed us? Oh, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to find something to eat. But... Oh, look, look, I found a lizard. Ha, look, I caught it all by myself, without mom or anything. <laughs> a real lizard, see? Oh, can I see, can I see? Here, take it. I'll find another. Oh, thanks. I still don't know how anyone can live in the desert. Well, it may be hot, but at least you don't have to worry about forgetting your umbrella. Oh, Watch yeah. this. Okay, okay, coast is clear. Come yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. When Tizzy comes in, mm -hmm. here's the plan. Okay. You work on the answer, yeah. and I'll try to remember the question. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. All right, okay, 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 okay. okay. Here she comes. Tizzy's here. Ready for a quiz? We sure are, right, Stinky? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, ready. Stay right there, because here it is. No, I said you remember uh, the answer and I'll forget the question. Uh, oh. Did you guess the answer? Uh, do you think we could hear the question again? Please? It would be my pleasure. Uh. The question is, which of these poisonous animals is a reptile? And the answer is... Uh, a Gila monster! Believe it, because it's true! As you know, the Gila monster kills its prey with poison. But the Gila monster isn't the only poisonous animal around. Here's the rattlesnake. It hunts at night, and it needs a strong poison so its prey won't get too far away after being bitten. The tarantula eats mostly large insects, baby birds, and small lizards. It kills them with its poison. Here it is climbing into its home. The pufferfish is poisonous to eat, but it also has another defense. When in danger, it can puff itself up into a prickly ball. And this is what it thinks about having its picture taken. <laughs> the male duck-billed platypus has a poisonous spur on his back legs, which can give a very nasty wound. 
The giant millipede makes a dark, smelly substance which stings. Believe it! Well, maybe we'll be able to give Tizzy the answer someday, Jake. Yeah, or at least remember her question. That too. And speaking of remembering, here's another memorable visit with Eves and LaRoche. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, ow. Sorry about that. Ah, bonjour, bonjour, my petit animals. You know, I've Eve Salaroch learned today that kangaroo rats can live by eating nothing but seeds. Amazing, no? Oui! You know, everything that kangaroo rat needs is in this tiny seed. Well, I was so impressed, I decided to make myself a seed that would have everything that I need. <laughs> so, I put everything into this little bowl. I put pizza, some chicken nuggets, strawberry ice cream, a double cheeseburger with fries, a picture of my mama, and lots of extra underwear. Then I took the mallet. Hmm. Then I... And voila! <laughs> I got everything I need in this little seed. Can you believe it? Now, the only thing that you must remember about the seed is that you must never drop it in water because... Oh! It will explode. Da well! Bon appetit! And remember, from tiny seeds, the mighty underwear does explode. Well, you just wait, Jake. That kangaroo rat is gonna love this. He'll never want to hop back to the desert. Well, Stinky, let's ask him and find out. From the deserts of North America, America. here is Cool the Kangaroo mm. Rat. Coming at ya. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Oh. Whoa, somebody sneeze because that's quite some breeze. Oh, welcome, Cool. <laughs> yeah, hiya, Cool. Whoa, Stinky, my skunk. You know, thanks for the fan club, but uh, could you turn it off? That breeze is blowing my mind. Oh, uh, oh uh, sure. Well, well, how about some water or food? No thanks, friend. I brought my seeds with me. And for a kangaroo rat, the seed is all he needs. You see, we kangaroo rats are made for desert living. Yeah, we sleep during the day when it's hot and come out of our burrows and get some food at night when it's cool. Well, what do you eat? Sandwiches? <laughs> no, 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 we dig seeds. We dig them up wherever we can find them, and we bring them back to our underground burrow. Yeah, you see, we put the seeds near the entrance to our burrow, then while we're sleeping, the seeds absorb the moisture from our breath. Like a sponge soaking up water. Uh, no, more like a seed soaking up our breath. Oh, well, what good does that do? Well, when we wake up the next night, the first thing we do is go munch on those seeds, and that gives us all the water we need. Whoa, wow. all the water you need is in that little seed? Oh, that's the fact. See, kangaroo rats aren't very big, so we don't need to drink very much. Which is good, because there's not much water in the desert. So why do you live there? Because it's home. In fact, some folk call us the desert rats because that's where we belong, in the desert. But most folks call us the kangaroo rat because we've got strong hind legs and can hop real well, just like a kangaroo. Well, what does your long tail do? Oh, it helps us keep on balance and stay on course. Uh, anyway, it is most definitely the coolest tail in the desert. Whoa, who's that? Oh, that's just another kangaroo rat, and it looks to me like there's trouble brewing. Why? What's gonna happen? Well, you see, Jake, we kangaroo rats spend a lot of time collecting our seeds, and we don't exactly like to share them with another kangaroo rat. Oh. Whoa, they're really going at it! Yeah, you, you, do they hurt each other? Oh, not usually. Like most sensible animals, they just tease each other and threaten each other and run up and give a little tug on the tail and run away. Uh, yeah, so that one kangaroo rat, he's just trying to keep the other one from stealing his pile of seeds. Right, and protecting his territory. You see, kangaroo rats like to keep the area around their burrow as their own, so they've got to get out there and chase intruders away. In a little while, the other rat'll probably run off looking for some seeds of his own. Uh, well, thanks, Cool, for showing us why you like life in the desert. Yeah, it was really cool, Cool. Oh, naturally. Uh, you two care for a seed? Uh, oh. yeah, no, no thanks, no. Cool, but, but we would like to hear a song. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cool, well, here it is, coming at you. All right. <laughs> and now here's Cool singing... The Kangaroo Rat Song! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopping and bopping and just can't stop. Love to stay, gotta go, running low, gotta shop. For those seeds, those knees, like the birds and the bees. I'm buzzing from fuzzing just to stay. 
Song, cool? Yeah, totally cool, cool. Naturally. See you later, S and J. <laughs> you know, all this talk about the desert has made me thirsty. I feel Ooh. like a big glass of water. Well, that's funny, you don't look like a big glass of water. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and now here's Animal Awards. Oh, and now it's time for the Animal Awards! And today we'll find out which animal is the best at drinking the least water. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Get it? Water. Will it be? Oh, the kangaroo rat. The fringe-toed lizard. Or the camel. Look at him. Ooh. In third place, the fringe-toed lizard. In second place, the camel. And the animal that can go the longest and drink the least water is the kangaroo rat. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, way to go, cool. <laughs> mm. Woo! I guess you have to be able to go without water for a while if you live in the desert. Yeah, and if you were a desert tortoise, you'd be able to do the tortoise toodaloo. The what? <laughs> uh, just listen. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise named Totter. Nobody gets in my way, boasted Totter. If they do, I make them do the tortoise toodaloo. Now, Totter had a friend named Tittles. She was a little older and a little bigger than Totter. No matter how hard he tried, Totter could not get Tiddles to do the tortoise toodaloo. He pushed and pushed and pushed and he dug his feet into the ground. Do it, do it, said Totter. Do the tortoise toodaloo. No way, said Tiddles, so Totter bobbed his head up and down. Okay, then you try to make me do the tortoise toodaloo because I bet you can't. I bet I can, said Tiddles. Ready, set, go. And before Totter knew what was happening, he was on his back. Whoa! Doing the tortoise toodaloo. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! So Tiddles helped Totter up and they lived happily ever after. Toodaloo! The end. I, say that isn't true. I, how could she do that to him? How could he do that to her? <laughs> How could they do this to each other? I can't believe this. Howdy, partners! It's oh. habitat time! Shh! Ollie, Ollie, I'm watching my favorite soup opera huh? as the worm turns. Oh, yes, I've seen this when uh, the mother-in-law did it. Oh, come on, Armstrong. We are going to the southwestern United States. Ah, uh, here we are in the desert, Armstrong. Oh, hey. Hey, you know, it's, uh, it's greener than I thought, Ollie. Hmm. The plants here, like the animals, can survive with very little water. Oh, yeah? Except for that lizard. Yeah, I think he's a goner. What do you think? Well, it's a hard life in the desert for a lizard or for a hungry roadrunner. But a surprising number of animals are adapted for desert life. Mammals like that fox. Yeah, and uh, snakes like that snake. You better watch out there, fox. Snakes are reptiles. That snake is a bull snake, and it's not poisonous, so don't worry, Armstrong. Hey, uh, get a load of those guys. Those shells must be so hot. 
Yeah, maybe they're air conditioned, huh? When the sun is hottest, desert tortoises will hide in the shade. Hey, smart move there, tortoises. And they get all the water they need from the vegetable food they eat. Yeah, but how can they fight like that in this heat? A tortoise has got to do what a tortoise has got to do, defend its territory. Territory? It's just a bunch of sand. Now the birds who live in the desert get the food and water they need from seeds and insects. Huh. About that, yeah. And I can hardly walk out in this uh, here sand, but look at that snake go. Hmm. It's a sidewinder, so called because it winds sideways across the sand. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, hello. And who is that? That is a burrowing owl. Oh, cutie. It lives in a hole to keep cool. <laughs> And there's another desert tortoise. Good thing, too, because I forgot to tell you that they eat plants which are too salty for many other animals. Oh, yeah? Oh, look, I'll eat water. Look at that. Right! And that means animals like the prairie dog and the opossum can survive. And not to mention those good-looking birds right there. <laughs> Quail need to know where to find water, especially if they have little cheeks. Yeah, I know where to find lots of water, Ollie. Where? Home quick. Follow that rabbit. For Habitat Time, this is Ollie the Tapir. Uh, and I'm showing the chicken out. Mm, yeah. Just back from the desert in the southwestern U.S. of A. Shh! Now you made me miss the end and everything. How am I going to know if the mother-in-law did it or not? I thought I told you to turn that thing off. I am not turning it off. I'm waiting for all my chicken hawks to come on. Ooh, here's the quiz. Whoa. I wonder if Stinky and oh. Jake are ready. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. This time you remember the question and I'll try for the answer. Yeah, okay. okay. Ooh, ready for the quiz? Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. I forgot the answer. No, oh, you were supposed to remember the question. No. Never, never mind, here comes uh. Tizzy. Did you guess the answer? Uh, could you repeat the question again, please? Here it comes. Oh. The question is, which of these animals lives in a hole in the ground? And the answer is... The burrowing owl, a bird that builds its nest underground. Thank you, Tizzy, for another tough quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Whoa, whoa. And merci to you, Eve. Au revoir. And a special thanks to Gabby the Gila Monster and Cool the Kangaroo Rat. Yeah, bye, Stinky. Bye, Jake. And to all you animals out there, until next time... Keep on flapping, swimming, hopping... And seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Say, you want some of this food, Jake? Sure, I'm hungry as a bear. I'm gonna turn on this fan. It's hot in here. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>